every so often an opportunity comes along that you simply can't pass up and this is one of those times i'm here at garmish at the bmw motorrad days and i just happened to see this bmw's evolution scooter it's quite heavy but it's that sort of weight that you just don't feel because it's so low down so going around some of these ridiculously tight hairpins is not a problem the brakes which have got abs are absolutely stonkingly good it's got four different riding modes and because some of them are pretty powerful it's got a very good traction control system which has chimed in once or twice i'll tell you what i'm deeply impressed i could easily live with one of these for getting around town oops in a bit hot again. Don't be silly, Matthew. It's a scooter. I don't know why I'm pretending to read this because I can't. It's all in German. But it has got some useful figures that back up what I felt on there are 265 kilos it weighs, which is a lot, let's face it. But like I said, the weight's low down. Everything about this, it, it just feels so beautifully well built. It's not a surprise, really, is it, BMW? The thing is, it's doing big things here in Europe, and you can understand why electric vehicles are all the rage. You get uh, special dispensation for getting in the middle of cities, they give you rebates for buying electric and going green. I just think it's a little bit early for South Africa, unfortunately. And the price here, 15,000 euros, which with my rubbish math works somewhere around 200,000 rand. Now, if you're earning a Bavarian wage, that's probably not bad, but in South Africa, I don't see it happening anytime soon, but I do hope that they bring it in because, well, I for one would quite happily live with one. It, it only makes a claimed, well, the equivalent of 50 horsepower, 72 Newton meters, that's not bad. The range, this is always a problem with these things, about 100 kilometers apparently. And uh, to recharge it from completely flat, four and a half hours, but you can get 80% recharge in about two and a half hours, limited to a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour. It's practical, it's useful, it's quiet, it's funky, it's seriously quick. It makes perfect sense to me. But I don't have 200,000 round either. Oh well, I'll stick to reading the brochure then. Good. Oh, 200 grand, that's not really scooterish, is it? No, not in any way, shape or form. 15,000 euros, so you can guarantee with South African taxes it's probably going to be about 220,000 rand or more. Look, it doesn't make any sense here, but in Europe they are selling and in Europe you get all these incentives for going electric and rebates and, and actually now, Donovan, some European cities are banning the combustion engine from city centres completely, so there's a future there here. Not quite so not convinced. So OK, that's all we've got time for this week. We'll be back again next week. Don't know what's on the show, but you can pretty much guarantee there'll be some bikes. <laughs>